<laughs> Hello, thank you for purchasing Pika Toys product, a solar and wireless control car model V1. Now, we are going to show you how we install the car. Open the seal box, you will find an instruction book, a wooden board, solar panel, double-sided tape, remote control panels, plastic safe scissors, wheels, accessories package, and the battery cases. You can open the instruction book and find the checklist on page 3 and page 4 to check all components before starting. If you find any missing parts or damaged components, please contact our customer support as soon as possible. Step 1, take out the wooden board, and note the pieces as per the instruction. Step 2, take out the wood piece A1 and A2. Do not take apart all the pieces in one time. Please follow the order of the steps to take the pieces one by one. Then take out the double-sided tape from the package, and apply appropriate tape on the side of the wood pieces A1. Use our plastic safe scissors to cut the tape. Please note to use the deep side of the scissors will be more easy to cut. The same steps for the wood piece A2, apply tape on the side, and cut the tape with the scissors. Step 3, take out the wood piece B1 and B2 from the wooden board, and peel off the film of the double-sided tape on A1, and the A2, and then stick the B1 onto the edge side of A1, and stick the B2 onto the edge side of A2. Step 4, take out the wood piece seat from the wooden board, and then stick it on the A1 next to the B1, and the A2 next to the B2, and adjust them to be perfect. Step 5, take out the wood piece D1 and D2, and stick the D1 onto the A1, 0.5 inches from the hole. The same for the D2. and then adjust their position to be perfect. Step 6, take out the wood PC and wood piece F, and then apply appropriate tape on them. Use the plastic safe scissors to cut. Apply two lines of tape to make sure they are stuck more stably. And don't forget the excess part. The same step for the wood piece F, Please be patient when applying the tape, to make sure the tapes are neat on the wood piece. Step 7, peel off the film of the tape on wood piece E. And stick it onto the D1, and D2, make sure they are aligned and stable. Then peel off the film of the tape on wood piece F, and then stick it onto the B1 and B2, to check if everything is right. Step 8, apply tape across part C, part B1, part F, part B1, and part A1. And the same step on the other side, apply tape across part C, part B2, part F, part B2 and part of two. Use the scissors to cut. Perfect. Check everything is all right. Step 9, take out the axles from the accessories package, and the axle gear, and the fixing rings. Install the fixing ring into the axle, one for each side. Then install the axle gear into the next axle. Please note the hole's direction, and installing it to the rubbing portion. And then install the fixing ring on each side. Step 10, install the axle to the rear end of the car. Then push the fixing ring to the wood piece A1 and A2. Remember to keep a little distance in case the fixing ring gets stuck with the car. 
Step 11. Install the axle with gear to the front of the car. Step 12. Take out the motor, and the motor gear. Put the motor into the gear by pressing it with fingers. Then apply two lines of tape on the back of the motor. And press the tape firmly in order to make sure the motor to be installed stably. Step 13. Peel off the film of the tape on the motor. And then stick the motor under the wood PC and next to the wood piece A2 and D2. And make sure the motor gear will be joint with the axle gear when installing. Test the gears if they are running well. Make sure the motor is firmly stuck. Double check the gears and make sure they are good, which is very important. Step 14. Take out the wheels. And the screwdriver. Use the screwdriver to drill the hole of the wheel slightly, in order to install wheels more easily. Please don't drill it too hard otherwise the wheels cannot fit the axle. Take two wheels as one set, press each other toward the axle. Please must be careful when pressing them. Watch your fingers from the sharp edge. Don't press too hard otherwise the axle could impale the wheel in your fingers. Test if it is running well. The same method for the rear wheel. Ask an adult for help if needed. All wheels are good. Step 15. Take out the wood piece D3 and D4 from the wooden board. Apply tapes on the wood piece D3. And same for D4. Peel off the film of the tape and stick it on this position. The connection of wood piece A1 and B1. And same for D4. Sticking on the connect of wood piece A2 and B2. This is for stabling the rear part of the car. And then take out the battery cases. Take the part 4A, the battery case with two wires. Peel off the film of tape on the car. And put on the battery case and stick it firmly. Organize the motor wire. Step 16. Take out the solar panel. Here is the sticking position. Take the car and stick the solar panel on its rear spoiler. Make sure it is the central position. Good. You have done well. Step 17. Take out the control panels. And antennas. Take the L-shaped one, and make it straight. Take out the screws and nuts for the antenna. Assemble the antenna with a screwdriver. Be patient, the screw and nut are small. You can make it. Plug the motor wire in the receiving panel, note the marking of the socket, to check it on the instruction page 5, and then plug the battery case into the next socket. Then find a suitable place with tape and stick it on the car. And plug the wire of the solar panel in the socket on the battery case. Organize the wires by sticking them on the tape of the car. Step 18, take out the control panel, and the antenna, the I-shaped one. Make it straight. And then install it with the left screw and nut. Use the screwdriver. Okay done. Take out the wood piece G from the wooden board. The last one. Apply tape on one of its sides. This side is for the battery case. A total of two lines of tape is necessary. Then apply tape on the other side as well. 
This side is for the control panel. A total of three lines of tape is necessary. Okay. Peel off the film of the tape. Then stick the control panel on the board. It fits perfectly. And then the battery case for the other side. Looks good. Plug the wire into the socket on the panel. Okay. Cool. Let's test it with batteries. Install two AA batteries on the car. Remember to use new batteries. Two on the remote control. Great. It is working.